Hello, welcome back to another video on derivatives. In this video, we're going to continue with implicit differentiation. Now, by the end of the video, my goal is to be able to take this implicit function and differentiate it and solve for y prime. But we're not quite there yet. What I want to do is go over a couple more uh, details, uh, practice differentiating some terms, and then we'll go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and find d dx, so differentiate y to the one-third. Now, the easiest thing to do is just differentiating, differentiate it like you would differentiate any other term. right? It's a power rule. you got y to the one-third, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this one-third and we're going to bring it down out front. So we're going to get one-third y, and then you're going to subtract one off the exponent, so one-third minus one is negative two-thirds but then we're going to immediately multiply by y prime because again you're differentiating with respect to x and that is not x so you do have that chain rule so we're going to always multiply by y prime and that's it that's the derivative of this so let's try another one let's find the derivative of 6xy now remember that y is a function of x it is its own function so we actually have two functions here we have 6x and then we have y. So we actually have a product of two functions. So how did the product rule work? Or work? Remember, it would be f g prime plus f prime g. So what are we going to call f? I'm going to make 6x f. And then I'm going to call y g. So then I can just do this here. All right then, so what is f we said was 6x, and then you're going to multiply by the derivative of y, which is y prime, plus, and then what's f prime? Well, remember, f is 6x, so f prime is just going to be 6. And then g, which again is just y, you leave that alone. So that is the product rule with 6x, y. So let's go ahead and try another one. Now this one is quite different. It's, uh, it's going to be a little bit more complicated than the past two. What I have is I have the derivative with respect to x of tangent of x cubed over 4y cubed. So notice that it is a, it's going to be a chain rule because you have stuff right inside a tangent function. So it's going to be a chain rule and then we're going to have to have a quotient rule. So let's go ahead and start. What do we get when you differentiate tangent? Well, the derivative of tangent was secant squared. So it's just going to be secant squared of what's inside. So that's going to be the x cubed over 4y cubed. Now what do you do? You immediately multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of x cubed over 4y cubed cubed. Okay, so let's keep going. We have our, secant, our secant squared of the x cubed over 4y cubed, and then we're going to multiply by the derivative. Now this is going to be a quotient rule, so we have, let's do this, we have the bottom function, so 4y cubed times the derivative of the top function. So times the derivative of x cubed, which is going to be 3x squared, minus, and then you got your x cubed, times the derivative of the bottom. So we have 12y squared, right, because you're going to bring that 3 down with the 4 to make 12, and then you're going to immediately multiply by y prime. Then what? Then you're going to divide by the bottom squared. So it's going to you're going to divide by 4y cubed squared. So in this big mess, there's my y prime. This is the thing that's going to tell me the slope. All right, so I only have one y prime, so I can solve for y prime if I wanted to know uh, a slope. But for now, I just wanted to differentiate the term. Okay, I think we can start this problem now. I want to find y prime when I have this implicit function here. So when I differentiate this part, 
it is a product of two functions. We have x and cosine y. All right, and then here I'm going to have another product. I have y times sine x. I'm going to have two product rules here. The derivative of x is nice. So let's go ahead and get started. We have x times, and I'm going to write it like this, times the derivative of cosine of y plus cosine of y times the derivative of x. So that's our product rule. All right. And then plus, and then I'm going to have the product rule of these. So I'm going to have y times the derivative of sine x plus sine x times the derivative of y. And that's going to equal the derivative of x. So I'm just going to write 1. OK, so what do we have here? We have x. Now, the derivative of cosine y, that's going to be negative sine y times y. Oops. Anytime I'm going to have a y prime, I'm going to write it in a different color. So let's go ahead and do this one. All right. So that's x times, and then the derivative of this is that. OK, plus cosine y times the derivative of x, which is just 1, plus, and we have y. Now the derivative of sine x, that's just going to be cosine of x, plus sine x times the derivative of y. Now the derivative of y is just y prime. Let's go ahead and write that equals 1. So what do I want to do? I want to solve for this y prime here. So I need a way of getting them together. Now what does not have anything to do with a y prime would be this here and here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract those over to the other side. So let's say, and then I'm going to clean this up here. So this is going to be negative x sine of y times our y prime. And then what else? We have our sine x, this piece over here, times y prime. And then on the other side, I have 1. I'm going to subtract this term over to the other side. So that's minus cosine of y. And I'm also subtracting this term. So minus y cosine of x. All right, these two terms have a y prime, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out that y prime. And then what's left over is a negative x sine y plus sine x. And then we have all that. Our last step is just to s divide both sides by this, because that's how I get y prime by itself. So I have y prime equals... All right, so I'm going to have all this again. And that is my final answer. This is the derivative using implicit differentiation solved for y prime.